Hello everybody, welcome to this Excel 365 video about dependent drop-down lists. So that's a drop-down list that is dynamically generated based on a previous selection. So for example, if uh, the user selects pizza, then the next drop-down would give the pizza toppings, as opposed to if they selected hot dog, it would show the hot dog toppings. Now the way this is normally generated is in the data ribbon tab, under data validation and list, you'd put in a range here. So what we need is a dynamic range instead of a static range, because when we add names to the list, we want them to be in the dropdown list. So to accomplish that, there's a few different ways. Um, you could use the offset function in a named range, but what I'm gonna do is with tables in a named range. So um, we're gonna select the employee name range and we're gonna insert a table there. It has headers and I'm gonna select the food name range, and I'm gonna insert a table here, which has headers. And unfortunately, you can't use the table uh, column directly into the, the uh, data validation, but you can make a name out of it and then use it. So we're gonna to go to name manager, and for uh, the first one, I'm gonna do employee list, we'll call it, and that is gonna be table one, and it's the employees, column, the header that we want to, we want the data from under the header employee. So I'm gonna hit okay, I'm gonna close that. And now let's see this in action. We're gonna to go to data, data validation, list, and I'm just gonna say equal employee list. Okay, and you can see that uh, it's now selecting. If you wanna apply this to all the rows, copy it, Paste special, validation, and now this dropdown is in all of the rows. And you can see, if we add a name here, Chris, it is now in the dropdown list. Okay, and as the title of the video suggested, we are now going to do a dependent dropdown list. And uh, before we create a new name, uh, the name that you create knows the cell you're in when you create it. So that's gonna be important. We go to the correct column. And what we're gonna do is formulas, name manager, new. And I'm gonna call this topping, toppings list. And this is gonna be an indirect function. So indirect uh, passes in a value and converts that value into a range reference. Um, so the way that's gonna look is indirect. And then we're gonna, in quotes, type out the table structure. So it's table two, opening square bracket, and then close the quotes, and we're gonna do and. And we want cell K2, because that's one directly to the left of the cell that it knows it's in right now. So we're gonna do K2 and not lock that range. So as we go down the list, it'll refer to K3, K4, etc. Another and symbol. And now we need to close that table square bracket and close the indirect function. And then we'll hit okay to acknowledge that and we'll try it out. So I'm gonna go up here to the toppings and I'm gonna to go to data, data validation, list, equals topping toppings list and it's going to know the cell to the left of it is the uh, value feeding into this indirect function so for hot dog we have our selections there i'm going I'm to do this copy paste special validation first and now we have our dependent drop down that matches the uh, pre-selected item to the left of it. Okay, so that's it for the video. I uh, appreciate you guys watching and sticking through to the end. And uh, just let me know in the comments if you have any questions about what I showed you. Have a good one. Bye.